guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is all about workflow management so in our previous videos we had gone ahead to customize our case management module we had also configured our email setting so in this video we'll be writing simple workflows for some of the fields in our case management module please if you've not seen the previous videos I will link it in the description as well as on the screen here so pause this one go ahead to watch that one before you continue without further ado let's log in so once you log in you'll be presented with your dashboard go to case view cases you can click on create case so here you can see all the fields that we configured previously you can write your workflow for any field in your case management module or any other module. You can write for your case category, you can write for your subcategory, as well as your status. So we'll just go ahead to our workflow module. Click on workflow. So this is our workflow module but before we write our workflows we'll be needing users so let's go ahead and create users if you've not seen my video on user management please do watch the video i'll link it below because i'll be a bit fast here in order for us not to waste so much time So create all the users that you need. Once you're done, add them to role and assign them privileges. Back to our workflow module. So you give your workflow a name. Select the module as well as the run type. I always use only on save, so it depends on when you want your workflow to run. If you want it to run only when that field or that um, data is created, then you select your run as only on save. Then you write the description. Then for the condition, I'll be writing this workflow for the status. So go ahead and select your status. So you have your operator, you have the type and you have the value. So the values are mostly all the fields that can be found in that module. So I'll be doing a more detailed video on workflow management to explain every field we have on the workflow module. But for now, we'll just go ahead and write a simple workflow for our already created case module. For the action type, I want it to modify a record. So I'll select modify record and then the record type is going to be assigned to. So I want the system to automatically assign a case to someone whenever a case is created. So I'm going to use round robin. This is when you want it to select to assign to a particular person. That is when you just use user or if you deselect a particular person but for round robin you can select all users any user from security group or anyone then for list busy as well you can select all users or any user the same thing goes for random as well but we'll be using round robin so i want to select all users from security group security them support team then after that record is modified i want to send an email 
to the individual that their name has been updated so you select action send email so i'll go ahead to select an email so you can enter either send to you select a specific email address but since we're using round robin to randomly assign to anyone i'm going to use related field assigned to Once you select the assigned to, then you can copy any other person. If you want the other people in the department to be copied, you can add them in the copy. But if you want a specific person to be copied, you can select email and then type in the specific person that you want to be copied in the email. So let's go ahead and edit the email template. You can choose an existing email if email template if it already contains the message that you want. But if you don't have anyone that already um, con contain the message you want, you can go ahead and create a new one, or you can open an existing one and edit it. So I'll just open a new one, then name it. going to be an email type in the subject then you can go ahead and edit this You want it to automatically pull the name of the individual then you just go to the variable so that's case module then the field in case module it could be assigned to in this case is assigned to username and then you insert it where you want it to appear Type in the message. And go ahead and save this save it here as well you have your workflow so let's go ahead and test this Let's create a new case.
so you can see the assigned to has been updated so it automatically assigns it to an individual and then sends them an email so you can also see it here it's assigned to I Uma. So let's go ahead and check our email. You can see we got two emails. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of the system email and then make use of your email from your workflow. So this is the email that comes with the workflow and this is the system automatic email. So let's go ahead and disable that. Assignment notification, untick that and save. Let's create another case and see if we we'll get double email. This has been assigned to HBedo. Check our email. You see, we get one email. So you can disable the system assignment notification, which comes automatically. So you have to disable that in order for the system to make use of your workflow. So you can also design your email the way you want it to look. So let's go ahead and to shop our email. Let's push it up a little. So you can write your own internal HTML to give the email styling. So you see the difference once we are done with this. You can add your logo. I'm just trying to edit what I have previously. In order to adapt it to the Nora's Claudia that we have here. So I've shown us how to pick variables to add the name or the value that you want. So that this is going to be unique to every customer or every individual. So you can select their name specifically. You can also add the link to each case that you want the person's attention to be on so you want to select the case id and add that in the body of your email so that they can just click on it and it takes them straight to the CRM.
So just copy the ID to the case and insert it here. So this is also going to be unique for every case that is assigned to the individual. So because this is on my local host, I'll just show you how to do this using a different CRM that is on the web. So I've copied a URL to a different CRM that is on the web just so you see how this works. Go ahead and save. Let's create another case. And this is assigned to Ioma. It assigns randomly. Let's view the email and see what it looks like. So this is what we have. When you click on the link, it takes you to the URL of the CRM. So like I said, this is a different CRM. Let's go back to the one we are working with. So guys, this is how you write your workflow for your CRM. And workflow can be written for any module, any field in your CRM. You can write it for your lead module, your invoice, your order, your cases, any module in the CRM you can write your workflow telling the system what exactly you want it to do guys i hope this video was helpful if you found it helpful please do give it a thumbs up and share with your friends our next video on this series is going to be data migration so we're going to migrate data to our crm and then work with the data we have migrated and trust me you do not want to miss that see you guys in my next video see you then happy learning bye